Boleh, Mbak. Boleh dimulai. Masak ke, Mbak? Sepuluh tok dewan. Mbak, bisa dimulai, Mbak. Dari 2.05, ini nungguin top locker dulu lah, cek kayak top pantes. No? Youtube-nya udah tak mulai soalnya. Oke, okay. for everyone to those who has entered the room, we're about to begin. So please have a seat and make yourself comfortable. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, to the Honorable Miss Irina Yasenova as a PhD in Information Technology, Associate Professor from State Tax University in Ukraine. And a very warm mm -hmm. welcome to the participant and student from Stockholm University. Is it in the pleasure to have all of you in this memorable occasion? And I would like to thank God for gathering us here in a visiting lecture program regarding IT startup development. Before we begin, please allow me to, to read our agenda this afternoon. First session class will be delivered by our guest lecture, guest lecture, Miss Irina Yasenova. And finally, there will be a question and answer session after the presentation and continue with a brief for photo session at the end. And we will start for this event today, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to remind all of the participants to turn off the microphone during the session. Thank you for Miss Irina. You can start for this class today. Thank you. Okay. Hello, dear colleagues. Uh, I will share my screen with presentation. Yes. Do you see it well, Navita? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Sorry. One moment, please. So, uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Irina Yasnova. Like Mavita said, I'm a PhD in information technologies. I'm a Microsoft certificate um, professional, and I work in. Um, IT company named YEPAM, like uh, L&D manager. Today, I want to talk with you uh, about uh, IT startups in Ukraine. Uh, not about all IT startups, I want to talk about startups in Ukraine. So, who we are? Uh, it's our uh, state tax university. It's a small city near Kiev, uh, it's Ukraine. And I want uh, to talk today about uh, our reality because uh, um, we have now everyday challenge and I want to talk uh, why we have challenge every day. So it's our beautiful city. Yes, it's city where uh, located our university. Uh, it's very green city, is a very modern city, is a very comfortable city for life. Uh, everybody said European is a city for life because European is a city with um, a lot of parks, uh, a big infrastructure and uh, a big, um, a lot of new building. And uh, here locate our university, we work in this beautiful city. Uh, but you can see it's a really very beautiful city. Like that is main, uh, main square. But uh, everything changed on, on that day. Uh, maybe you know um, from news, our life was changes. And now everything looks like that. It's our city now. Our city looks like that right now because we have war in, in our country. We have war in our cities. Now is European too. 
it's uh, that day, looks like that. Uh, it's our university before and now. But uh, I want to say um, we not stop working. We working every day. And now we work in uh, like that, because uh, now we have no light. More time, we have no light. It's main uh, square of our, of Kiev. Looks like that. But we are a strong nation and we believe in, um, in our freedom. We believe in our um, independency. And um, we believe in our nation, we believe in our country. And um, if today we, we, uh, I want to talk about startups, I want to say it, um, IT, IT field in Ukraine is a um, is field um, that not, not start developing. Uh, we have war, but uh, IT specialists working every day like um, like crazy because because uh, we don't uh, uh, we don't want war, but uh, war come in our country, and uh, but we don't stop uh, working, and to this day. IT is only, only one sphere in Ukraine that continues to grow, that continues to grow uh, despite the war. And you can see on this slide, uh, it's a um, million uh, to, to budget uh, from um, 2017 for this year. This is a budget uh, at November, December. So uh, now um, in 2022, the export of IT service account for uh, 30 of the total export of Ukraine. Ukraine exported more IT service than ours, metals, engineering products or oil. And uh, now in 2022, uh, more specialists work in uh, IT industry. And um, today I want to talk about startups uh, that will made in Ukraine. And uh, I want to say that Ukraine is the capital of freedom and Ukraine is uh, one of the largest technology hubs in Ukraine. So in November this year was a uh, uh, web summit. It was in uh, Portugal, Lisbon. And this year, more than 100 Ukrainian startups applied for particip participation in the web summit and uh, of which uh, 40, 20, uh, 24 were selected. Eight of them will receive additional funding to, uh, to cover expenses. And uh, it's uh, a lot of uh, a lot of field and uh, it's a, a big uh, work. And first of um, it, Startup name relief paper. It's very um, important for ecology because the relief paper company produces paper from fallen leaves, you know, and up to 5,000 tons per year. And it's really very good for, uh, for ecology. Uh, the main production of these uh, startups um, is located in Lutsk, its Ukrainian city. Relief paper products include paper, shopping bags, cardboard, food packing, and uh, so, 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 from really from fallen leaves. Next startup uh, that well presented at Web Summit is Keiki. <coughs> Keiki. 
uh, is Ukrainian products uh, from Ukrainian company Genesis. Uh, Geki and Genesis develops application for ch children uh, aged from two to six years is education program. And now more than five, five million users have already downloaded the company application in 20 languages. Uh, it's really very popular now in our country for, for children because uh, our children now um, want some, you know, some, some fun and uh, some really uh, very interesting. So next startup from IT Web Summit sorry, is uh, Avesenik. Ukrainian startup helps companies find proven designers and get design result within 24 hours. It's really very fast. It's really very, uh, very quickly. And uh, now more than 1,000 uh, clients from all over the world, mostly from the US state, worked with Avesenik. So next, uh, very interesting uh, startups is uh, Mizu. Uh, Mizu team has created an application for health monitoring. You know, they make uh, also uh, not only application and uh, this program measures a person performance every 50 minutes. This device can be transferred to the doctor to prevent critical condition. Uh, the team also developed a smart Mizu watch bracelets that can warn about the risk uh, of heart disease. Next startup is Choice. Uh, Fortivan uh, is um, Ukrainian uh, company Nitpick is online university. Uh, and uh, on this online university, this university have have no uh, have no building on the on the application, and everybody can uh, make uh, something education in internet marketing, uh, because now we have um, really more special specialist in uh, this sphere because IT, like I said. Uh, developing now and have grown. <clears throat> so, uh, in Ukraine is a lot, uh, I, I said, I talk now uh, only of Z5 startups, but in Ukraine we have well no Ukrainian IT startup and uh, uh, I, I hope you know uh, startups like that. For example, PetCube, is really very popular in USA startups because uh, PetCube is a gadget that allows the owner to communicate and play it with their pet while away from home. Uh, this device is equipped with a camera, microphone, speakers, and a laser beam. And uh, you can be controlled using the smartphone and you can uh, make conversation with your pets uh, when you are not at home. Uh, next startup from Ukraine is Reface. <coughs> Maybe you used sometimes that funny, funny application because Reface is application that allows user to replace face in video or GIFs. Reface that becomes the first uh, uh, application to take the uh, first place in the top of the American App Store ahead of TikTok, Netflix, and Amazon. I hope you use that like for fun because it's really very interesting. So uh, next, uh, uh, Ukraine startup from Ukraine uh, is Pocketbook. Uh, is a premium yearbook manufactured based on electronic internet technology and uh, developed by American company. But the founders of the, the, the startup were from Kiev. And uh, that startup uh, was in 2007, really many times, uh, many years ago. So 
Uh, next startup from Ukraine is GitLab. Uh, I think you know is a service for systematic files with the code of Kharkiv programmer Dmitry Zaporozhets. The startup was created in 2011. It is interesting that Aston Kutcher invited uh, more than one million dollars in the Ukrainian company, and now really um, a lot of companies uh, use that applications product and. And next startup from Ukraine is Grammarly. It's a program whose idea was to prevent plagiarism in academic and scientific works. The startup, which, uh, which was originally called MyDrops, uh, was founded by uh, three Ukrainians, is Alexei Shevchenko, Maxim Litvin, and Metro Leader. After a successful start, the company was acquired by the American company specialist in education technologies, uh, Blackboard. And really, uh, we use uh, in our work uh, th this product because uh, that uh, gives a good result and uh, we can find plagiasm in our in works of students on uh, in uh, another scientific works <clears throat> so next uh, well done uh, Ukrainian startups is deposit photos the um, Dmitro Sergeyev project is a well known photo library service and includes visual context from over uh, uh, 200 million royalty free files, videos, and thematic photo collection. These startups was founded in 2009, really. Um, not young startups, is 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 business, is now is a very good business. So uh, next is um, uh, startup is it's the young startup for health. It's really important, uh, in, in, important because, uh, for example, that cardiom uh, it's easy solution to monitoring health, uh, heart health, in real time. It's it's very important in real time, and uh, uh, this startup uses non-invasive variable technology and keeps clinical and loved ones in the lab about a patient health condition, but providing an app to the minute data dashboard and alert system when unusual behavior is uh, detected. So next about health too is uh, comeback mobility, is uh, wide bearing real-time feedback service support patients recovery outside of the clinic ward throughout the entire rehabilitation process. And next one is about health, health too, because now is uh, this Ukrainian uh, project of Esperobionics have reached the rating of the best innovation. And it's... Um, Protests uh, very important for our, for for that time because uh, now we have a uh, lots of people who, um, without uh, limbs and um, really it's uh, that startup can make um, everything best for for people. Uh, this this uh, device, it's lightweight device, has up to 24 portable sensors that detect and process muscle activity and brain impulse. And I want to talk about that because really, I hope you see it now very well. It's look like that. And uh, first, um, uh, this hand was made for girl. Uh, she lost their arms in um, in a uh, car crash, and now she can look like that. She can have another life. Yes, it's look like that because uh, it's 
I hope you see now this video, yes. Look like that. It's not future, it's it's uh, it's our time. And you know, she uh, can make everything with this hand. And uh, that startups is really very important for our soldiers, for, for our heroes. So you look like that. <clears throat> like real, you know, she demonstrate is like real. So I will take to my presentation. Uh, so um, it's my coordinates. Uh, maybe you see, I hope you see well. Yes, it's, it's my, my context and we can talk about about Ukrainian startups in my uh, social profile. So, so uh, I know it's very short uh, lecture today, uh, and uh, today um, I hope. Um, you know something new about Ukraine and about our uh, developers, uh, about our startups, and what I want to say. I want to say everything start from you know from customers, because every perfect startups uh, starts from problem. Yes, because I said to my students, if you want to have money, it's a wrong idea because. Uh, first off, you uh, must have, uh, you must make happiness for some somebody, and because of that, you can receive money. Not, uh, not uh, startups. Not start from, from, you know, from, from idea. I want to have money. No, startups. Every best, every perfect startups starts from idea. Make something great. For uh, for another people, uh, like like that, you know. For for example, like like that, last startup about uh, about hand like real, because uh, this idea really make um, life for this girl or another people really best. So now I want to talk. Yes. Uh, I will stop my presentation. Sorry, something oh, like that. So maybe you have question, maybe we can talk about Ukrainian startups or developing startups. So I'm here. <laughs> okay, thank you for the excellent presentation. Maybe for all audience, if you want to ask question, you can raise your hand or you can write in room chat. Yeah, for first question, we have uh, from audience in a Zoom. This is from Ms. Sukamto. What must be done so that the startup business can develop successfully? Uh, I, I think, I, think I, I, I said that, yes, because, you know, really, when we start... Uh, um, when we have idea, yes, it must be uh, something about customer, you know, not about us, not about our uh, teams, not about, like I said, not about our money. 
No, everything starts from a great idea and we must think about our customers because people never buy uh, only products, you know? People buy emotion, people buy a solution for problems. And uh, when um, some, some guys, some teams want to make something great, they must think about... Uh, which solution, solution I can um, give to my customers. <laughs> and it's, it's first off, it's first off, you know, and not about money, really. Startups, it's not about money because uh, when um, teams start make something great, something perfect, uh, they need only, you know, believe in yourself, it's first, and believe uh, their solution will be perfect for their customers, like that. And after that, uh, if uh, if team understand uh, what they do, they must prepare, uh, you know, um, elevate pitch. It's, it's very short. It's very short pitch about their idea. And if, uh, if teams uh, can say uh, about what their startup is in, uh, you know, in one minute, it's, it's a really great idea. Because uh, sometimes, you know, uh, I was a startup coach uh, and sometimes I ask, uh, what is your idea? And I uh, have, uh, I must listen a long stories. No, it's not about that because, uh, because if you know what you do, you need only one minute because your great idea is only, you know, it's only one minute and you must uh, understand what, what you do uh, and you must to, to give the best for your customers. And really, uh, every every startup starts from 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 great idea for customers. Okay, thank you for answering. And then this is the question from audience in the YouTube. This is from Mister Solikan. What are the challenges nowadays in starting up so we can face it and learn from now? And what is the biggest challenge when running a startup? Thank you. You know, uh, biggest challenge uh, in startup is team, is, um, you know, is team communication. Because um, startups really, it's not easy way. Uh, we have, uh, you have no money, you know, you have only idea, you believe in yourself and you think uh, my idea is best. It's, it's first off, but, uh, but, Startups uh, need money and um, need, you know, um, if uh, if some something uh, doing not like you want, you must make change. And uh, very important uh, in this way is um, communication with team because sometimes uh, relational ship in a team is a big problem, really. Uh, only you know, only human factor uh, can make startups best. Only human factor, no, no technologies, no, no, really. If you have a good idea but uh, have a bad, uh, bad relationship in your team, uh, you have, uh, you will have. Uh, no successful startups really and uh, it's very important build build, build relational ship in in startups looks like that so it's it was uh, second questions but i i lost uh, uh, first uh, first questions challenges yes navita yes yes challenges and you know Mm -hmm. uh, when people start doing something new, like startup, you know, uh, mm, now startups is not from zero to, to product. Yes, because sometimes it can be like something um, like not new, 
not from zero. Uh, for example, uh, people have no cars a lot of times ago and uh, Ford make, make uh, cars. It really was from, from zero to, to, to product. Now is uh, another situation. Now we can make something best. For example, I know... Uh, I know people have something problem, but uh, there are a lot of uh, of uh, products for uh, solution to this uh, problem. Uh, it's no no, but if you want make something like that, but better, it's really it's uh, startups also because uh, you know you make uh, something better and uh, every time if you have idea make something better like uh, that we have you have it's really it's new startups and uh, very important uh, you know is um, for example um, you know instagram starts not like a photo service uh, but but uh, customers uh, used is Instagram not that way that means uh, developers and WhatsApp for example uh, it's not problem if you make something but your customers uh, use your products not like you want it's no problem okay you must sit and think uh, if my customers not understand my idea i must uh give uh, really best for for my customers because uh, like i said um people never buy uh, only products you know we, we really never buy products when we wear our clothes and uh, eat something it's not like products we need emotion you know it and uh, if your uh, customers receive emotion from your products is your best way and if your customers not understand what what you what you develop it's not problem make like customers want you know my you understand what i mean yes uh startups on uh, every application is really of uh, not for you yes not for you only for your customers and you must uh, make everything best everything best for for another people like that okay thank you for answering miss irina and then we have two questions from audience in a zoom this is from mr danisa smoko currently in indonesia many startups are losing money and reducing their workers what are the tips for start startup to be able to survive in the current crisis era? Uh, never give up. <laughs> you know, really, uh, because uh, because it's uh, you know startups um, uh, startups is not successful every time. Uh, if uh, like I said, if something get wrong. It's no problem. Uh, never give up, really, and uh, sit and uh, let's think about another idea, another product, another application. Uh, if you want make something great, uh, make that. Make it's uh, it's uh, not only one step. You know, it's not only one step. It's uh, it's a big way. You not like sprint. You know, it's like marathon, marathon because uh, because you must make changes uh, if something's doing not uh, like you want. Uh, of course, sometimes it's about uh, losing money. Yes. But uh, you know, I have example. Uh, we have um, it was seven years ago. Uh, I work in um, uh, IOT uh, uh, startups uh, laboratory of acceleration, and 
we have one startup. It was a really perfect idea for smart home. And our guys uh, receive money uh, in Kickstarter. I don't remember uh, how much, but, but really it was very big, um, uh, big cost, uh, a lot of money. And uh, they uh, make this product. But uh, problem was uh, they have product, really very, very cool product, by uh, they uh, not think about um, about marketing, you know, and um, after that, uh, they uh, then can buy uh, their product and after that uh, starts uh, conflicts in a team and everything uh, really was not, not good because uh, that thing, you know, only uh, for one step. We must uh, um, we must develop products and and only for that. Yes, and they not have ways to to marketing because uh, if you have something great, uh, uh, everybody around must to know about that, and uh, you must. Uh, uh, use uh, social media, you must use uh, targeting uh, um, reclam and so, so, so. And uh, if you have problems, you must really sit and think uh, what is my next step and uh, never give up because uh, because you must make changes, you know, uh, and uh, if you make something and in another way, it's the best uh, for for your startups. It's the best for your uh, teams. It's, it's the best for your development process, like that. Thank you for Ms. Irina for your explanation. I think a very clear answer from Professor And then we have an audience with the raise hand from Mr. Adi Nugroho. Yeah, for Mr. Adi, the time is yours. Thank you. Okay, uh, can you hear my voice? Yes, yes. Uh, okay. uh, I would like to ask you about the, the Ukraine condition right now, uh, about the development in the startup in the Ukraine right now, uh, because I see in the Euro, in the Euro News and France Twenty Four, there is a an application to detect when there is a, a a drone or sound of drone, then they can report to the military. Is it made by startup from Ukraine? Uh, an application to detect just like a rocket or drone sound and the, the, the listener uh, send the message to the military to to prepare to uh, to, to prepare uh, to to make, to be uh, to react with the rocket and the drone uh, there's an i see there's an application on the mobile phone is it right uh, yes, I, I think I understand that your question, but you know, <laughs> um, it's like military and uh, really is, <laughs> um, I, I, I have not, uh, you know, touched to, to military field. Uh, it's, no, no, it's, no. Uh, it's, it's developed for people, for, for the citizen. There is an, an application, Android application, that oh, used to detect when 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 people hear the sound of drone or rocket, and they can send information to the government so they can prepare. Do, do you know about that? Uh, yes, I understand. Okay. Uh, yes, we have. You know, uh, really. Uh, I have not enough time for my presentation because yeah. you know we 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 live now in yeah. uh, you, if if I have no light I have uh, not enough uh, uh, for my <laughs> for for yeah. my, so we have 
Now we have um, a digital application. We yeah. have digital application. First off, when we have air attack, uh, I uh, I use my uh, phone and yeah. I have signal from my phone. Yeah, that, we, that's what, what I mean. That's what I mean. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, I I. Um, I hear sim signal and I know now is uh, air attack. And uh, when I use uh, my phone, I want to saw where is uh, in Ukraine is air attack. You know, it's uh -huh. first off. It's first off. Second, we have uh, application. If I saw, uh, for example, drone. Yeah. Um, I use application DIA is very important uh, application in Ukraine, and yeah. I must to write to this application. It's uh, application from our government, uh, oh. and and really and really, one time it was uh, it was months ago. I sit in my in my home uh, before my windows. Uh, I working and really I heard something not normal, uh, you know. And I saw uh, drone drone drone, ah, ne yeah. drone nearest, uh, next to my house. Really, yeah. it's not uh, not give me happiness, you know. <laughs> And uh, for for this um, situation, I uh, used my um, phone and uh, application Dia. Dia is a government's application. Oh. And uh, if, uh, for example, some uh, to know about um, uh, about uh, uh, techniques from uh, from. Uh, from terrorist states, uh, if uh, we have uh, saw something like that, uh, we use uh, this application, DIA, and inform it our government like that. And about DIA, because it's really very important application. Uh, for example, um, I um, not need have passport with me, you know, paper, my paper documents. It's okay. not, it, uh, I, I have not, because uh, it's um, not good, my, my documents uh, in a safe place. Uh, but I have phone, and uh, when I drive car on uh, on another way, I need my documents because we have blog post, you know, and. Yeah. Uh, uh, our soldiers uh, check documents. It's very important now because a lot of uh, terrorists here and um, our soldiers uh, check documents. I have, uh, I have my application and uh, there is my passport, my um, uh, car driver's documents, uh, my COVID certificate, you know, wow. uh, Documents for my, my children. Everything is uh, here in uh, is uh, in this application, Dia, and really is very important. Also, oh, uh, now we have uh, documents about our education here to uh, here uh, in Dia because a lot of people um, lost their houses, and of yeah. course they have nothing. You know, really nothing. Yeah. No documents, no clothes, no, no nothing. And uh, our governments make that uh, because now in Dia we have all documents. Really, it's it's good. It's uh, it's perfect because you know because um, really I don't know another countries in uh, you know in smartphone because yeah. really it's, uh, Dia is uh, is government in smartphone. Uh, I see. Uh, but uh, what if the there's uh, you know in the Ukraine there's a blackout because there is no electricity. So what if our mobile phone cannot be charged? Yeah, uh, the, the the power, the power, the electricity for the mobile phone because sometimes on your country there's sometimes there's no electricity because uh, Russian bomb. Uh, yes, it's now, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, we have different ways. We have different ways because, you know, Ukrainian people, very strong people. And, yeah. uh, and, and 
It's a Cossack yes. people. <laughs> yes. Cossack warrior. <laughs> We are very proactive, and now um, we have, you know, uh, I don't know. I I hope generator. Uh, yeah. I I hope you understand this word. Yes, I know. I know. Generator. We generator. need oil. We need yeah. this this uh, uh, this device, big device. And yeah. uh, uh, I, for example, uh, I go to oil station. I I buy oil, and I go to my home, and I. Um, I must to run this this this, yeah. this generator and yeah, like yeah. That. we have power banks because for example I have four power banks uh, and uh, another another you know a lot yeah. of uh, devices uh, now we have something people buy Starlink for internet because yeah. for us for example I work in university I work in IT company and in a laptop is uh, it's my workplace and I need internet of course uh, some people buy um, Starlinks some people buy uh, you know we have um, we have uh, internet like optical um, uh, different technologies like like that uh, when we have no light this internet still works and uh, our pro internet providers have ge generator yeah, and yeah. have have different um, uh, sorry i don't know this word i i must to use my translator but uh, but really uh, ukrainian um, uh, really uh, very proactive in this okay. way and you know we uh, we said uh without light but without russia really uh, uh -huh. but we believe we believe in our freedom we believe in our victory we, we believe in our country because uh, because really we we have perfect life you know uh -huh. uh, we have uh, everything we have technologies we have we have a good, beautiful life, and everything changes on February, 24 mm -hmm. February. And um, but but really, uh, I uh, ev everybody in our country know it's um, you know it's terrorism now, mm -hmm. but uh, but everything will be Ukraine. We said yeah. like that. We said yeah, like that. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Hope you, uh, your country will be uh, soon get in peace and uh, will be uh, back to the normal again. The electricity will be run again, and hope everything will be okay soon. Yes, because really we have heroes. Our not only our soldiers, not only our army is he heroes because really uh, they are. Um, a big heroes and now our our medicine is hero our uh, electric is hero really because you know uh when we have five big uh, air attack for our energy uh, electricity uh, system you know yeah. and uh, yes we have lights not uh, every time it's not normal life, yeah. but uh, our uh, people from um, our electrics make everything and really they make, you know, they make uh, uh, wonderful. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, I see on the news, they try to uh, connect the wire as, as available as uh, try to give electricity as fast as, as, as possible. Yes, your yes. your 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 uh your electrician and your doctor is work very hard. I see on the person there is a doctor try to run the run the hospital with light with candle. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, yes. yeah. I hope your country will be better. <laughs> you know we live in terrible situation. Really, we know we live in terrible situation, but we still smile. We still, uh, <laughs> uh, 
really, uh, you know, sorry, <laughs> it's mm. sorry. Uh, uh, you know, uh, before New Year's, uh, people um, think, uh, I will make a challenge for me, for example, 100 push-ups, yes, mm. uh, uh, 100 books per year but now we have really big challenge challenge uh, to we must, we must live you know yeah. we must live in, in, in that terrible situation yeah. you saw pictures what we have before and what we have now and um, I saw it that every day and um because war, war was here, you know, because um, I wake up in the morning and I saw dark, um, everything was dark. And after that, we have uh, air, you know, uh, helicopter and so, 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 because we live in this area, we, yeah. we live uh, when everything started. And uh, really was um, fair and um, oh, sorry, really, it's it's not it, it's not good memories. Uh, yeah. It's not good memories. Everything, but you know, uh, in summer after the occupation, because uh, in our area the, the occupation was uh, in April. In April, because yeah. here, here, um, uh, uh, war, you know, and everything like that was uh, more than one month. Yeah. Uh, I sense uh, thank you to God because it was not long, but uh, but if you see that photo, everything destroyed, yeah. and um, after that, now. Uh, now uh, everything looks not like like what what I uh, I um, demonstrated because a lots of building are are, um, uh, are rebuilt you know now uh, oh. for for uh, for a cost of government and for uh, our special cost you know because oh. yes now we. Um, we make everything for our future. We make everything to make uh, everything like we have, like we lo love. We love uh, be beautiful cities, parks, you know, everything green, green beautiful. And uh, our people make everything for that. You know, some people live in, a, in very small buildings because uh, their buildings uh, was destroyed. But in that uh, small buildings model, you know, model, model buildings, they make flowers around, you know, oh, yeah. uh, it's, it's you, because it's, <laughs> it's our soul. Uh, yeah. We want everything beautiful. And uh, now is that terrible situation. Um, we don't, uh, don't stop to work. We uh, don't want to live in another countries. No, we uh, we love our country because really we have uh, a beautiful first of a beautiful country, and we have um, very smart people in our country, very strong people in our country, and uh, we have technologies. You, you see a lot of startups from Ukraine. Uh, and now, uh, like uh, I said, uh, uh, more, more than 100 startups uh, start now in this situation because we yeah. have um, new challenges, we have new problem, you know, and um, that situation make us really stronger, you know, um, and and we believe in our freedom, really. We believe in our freedom. We believe in our perfect future. And uh, we live still here uh, because mm. uh, we believe in our country.
Okay, thank you for your explanation and yeah, I hope your country will be better soon and there's uh, and the war will be uh, soon war, uh, soon soon over uh, will be over soon and there is uh, you can build your country again because uh, yeah uh, your your country is especially in on the on the on the east is really destroyed I guess and uh, you live in uh, next to Kiev or in the Kiev. Yes, now in the... I'm in Kiev. Now oh, okay. I'm in ah. Kiev. Okay. Now I'm in Kiev. Uh, Irpin, Irpin is um, 20 kilometers from ah, Kiev. Yeah. Uh, from, you know, from, um, it's near Kiev. Really, ah, I, uh, I, I, I really, I don't uh, demonstrate your uh, map because, um, because really it's, it's close to Kiev. Okay. Mm. Okay. Uh, thank you for your... Uh, I, I live I live in Kiev work work in European because it's it's uh, it's, it's next it's very, really yeah. it's next I, uh, I I I car I I have car and I have only 20 20 25 minutes do you understand 25 yes. minutes okay. and everything in European is destroyed but in Kiev everything uh, not everything we have we have uh, air attack in Kiev too but but it, uh, Kiev looks not like uh, European because European really was uh, uh, destroyed yes Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. Thank you for the explanation. And then, uh, listen to Miss Novita. Okay. Thank you for Mr. Adi and Miss Irina. And the last question, this is from Mr. Edi Jogatama. Does the direction of startup development always have to be in business goals, or is it just profit my profit making? Are there any non-profit startup, for example, social purpose? What is the development and management model for a non-profit startup? Thank you. This is question from Mr. Edi Jogatama. Okay. Um, so you know, uh, you know, I said about that because um, startups, yes. Um, uh, <laughs> Startups is really not about money, yeah, not definitely. about money, because if um, you make something yes. like not profit, not profit, uh, you uh, you can receive money. You can receive money from um, from government, from another people. You know because. For, for example, like in Ukraine, uh, you know, most of money for army gives Ukrainian uh, people, really. Uh, because uh, if I receive my, uh, my salary every, every month or every week, uh, or after, um, uh, after air attack, we donate to, to our army, you know, because uh, because um, like everything in our life, uh, startups is uh, also not about money. It's um, whom who think uh, I will make startup for my money, uh, for for receive money. It's it's bad idea, because um, because really uh, money will will come. Money will come after great idea if if your idea is something uh, special for people uh, is something something great for for people money will come uh, in a different way in different way but um, teams who make about uh, who think uh, first of about money have uh, not 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 successful startups uh, and uh, only only your customer is the first place only a great solution of something problem on the first place uh, it's it's uh, you know it's a uh, main point of successful startup and like I said, uh, non-profit startups 
will receive money uh, from different, you know, from different volunteer organization, from government, from another people. Uh, money will come in different way, <laughs> you know. Uh, but uh, but first off is great idea, like that. Okay, thank you for answering from, from Miss Irina. I guess no one else asking again. May I go to the next session for time a uh, picture for documentation? Take a picture. Yeah, so for Miss Swebri, you can handle it. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Miss Navita. For those who have an activated the camera, you can active or open camera the uh, open camera first so we can take photos together. Okay. Let me come from one two three. And next slide. One, two, three. Once again. One, two, three. Thank you. I will return the event to Miss Novita. Thank you so much for Miss Febri. Before I closing this, aku lari balik. Febri mute. Before I closing this event, for Miss Irena, you will say something before or no? Sorry, sorry, I I, I don't hear you. Sorry. Okay. Before I close this event, you will say something before or no, Miss? Oh yes, of course. Oh. Thank you. Thank you for attention. It it really was a very interesting conversa conversation. I hope uh, um, you will know something new about our country, uh, and um, I hope for our uh, next next conversation for our maybe something competition with students and also 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 and I hope it's uh, only our first meeting and after that I hope we will meet uh, soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for Miss Irina. We hope we can have another collaboration with State State Tech University. Okay. Yeah, finally we come to the end of the visiting lecture today. We would like to say thanks again for all for our speaker for their wonderful information. Thank you for sharing your knowledge. We hope this information will be beneficial for our audience. And I hope we can meet again in another event in the future. Also, I would like to thanks for all participants for attending this class today and making this even more interesting. At least, we hope to have more collaboration in the future. The visiting lecture for today ends here. We hope to see you soon. Thank you and have a nice day. Thank you so much for Miss Irina. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you for all participants. Thank you, Irina. Thank you so much. Have a nice day for Miss Irina. Thank you and see you soon. Goodbye. Okay, I think that's an of our today's event. Thank you. Good afternoon. Uh, have a good rest. Bye-bye.